My name is Rebecca, um, I'm 23 years old and I am from Ardoin. I've just recently completed a Masters in Communication and Public Relations at University of Ulster. So I'm looking forward to seeing where I go from here. Um, I also work in hospitality part-time, so that's quite fun. I like to write on the side and I've done quite a few articles about women in the community and women in Ardoin specifically um, throughout the Troubles and in the current times. Growing up in Ardoin was great. Um, I always had something to do. I was really involved in Jiu Jitsu um, at the youth club and I also attended the John Paul Youth Club. I um, used to go to the disco every Friday night with my friends from school. And then I was in the summer scheme every single day playing sports and just having a great time. A little bit later on, I got involved in the GAA. So I played Komogi and I played Gaelic football for the Ardoin GAA. That was great when I was younger. It always gave me something to do. It was something that was really social and I made friends for life. Ardoin to me is, it's home firstly. I have friends from all around Belfast and all around the country, but there is a distinct part of me that is different because I've grown up here and I've had the experiences that I've had. There is a support system. As a woman, Ardoin to me is a work in progress. As a gay woman, her going to me is a, is a work in progress, but as a place it's a very welcoming, accepting community and from the outside perhaps people may not see it to be as, as open as it is, but I feel very strongly that this community has, has embraced me for, as myself, um, as, an, as an openly gay woman. This community has, has never shown anything but, but love to me. Um, I've never experienced any kind of homophobia or any um, outward displays of, of hate. It's harder perhaps for people um, who are racial minorities or ethnic minorities because they're more visible. But I, I've never felt that I need to censor myself. I've never felt that I need to hide who I am. That's just an, an honest testament to, to, the, to the openness and the, the very warm nature of, of people in this community. In a lot of working class communities especially, um, there's sort of like a, a glass ceiling for people and it's hard to sometimes overcome the idea that you kind of have a place in society. And I hope to see that a lot more young people growing up in Ardoin can go on to be whatever they want to be. People like Anna Burns, um, who's just won a Booker Prize, um, and she's from the community and she went to St Gemma's.